Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with a quick update from the previous episode, probably within 15 minutes from the last one that was updated. Um, we said we were going to come uh, do some Naban, and I did some research, and I already unlocked um, Taiwan and Japan, so I figured why not do Korea next. So I went straight to Pohang, which is the location that you need to start to do that. I talked to the city official and gave him about 250 of my um, uh, whiskey that I had on me. And I unlocked it. So now I can officially trade with this region. <clears throat> so I don't have much with me left to trade, but, you know, I made the trip to unlock things. So this is the kind of grindy part about the game. Is that you have to do, you know, try to sail all this way to, to do this, but it had to be done. And there we go. Name and trade. Let's give him what I got. Yeah, we're not going to get much, <laughs> but whatever. Bring back something. Szechuan pepper. Sure, because it's a spice, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what to get. Uh, we'll just get a spice. One spice is not going to make a difference. good. It gave me something towards my thing. Yeah, I had a feeling it's because they already had too much whiskey. Yeah, they, they've they got way too much alcohol. You need to bring things to them that they don't have, but I wanted to come here to at least unlock the area. So, that's all I've done so far, but now, I've just sailed all this way and I got nothing to show for it. I came with, I'm going all the way out there to come back with one Sichuan pepper, so we are definitely going to have to bring back some spices because we have just gone and screwed ourselves by getting virtually nothing for what we brought and that's how you know that you can lose money in Nanban pretty pretty easily but I did it purposely so that I could unlock Pohang and I'm going to have to come back and do China I mean, you know I swear to god I've done China I swear I've done now I've unlocked them all I swear I have whatever so we've done everything that we need to oops so we're gonna get some spices on the way back and so we're gonna hit up and bond and run and we're gonna get uh, some of those other spices that do so well that we're gonna make our trip worthwhile but you know unless learned with how Nambank can work is that you gotta unlock uh, everything first before you can really make money at it and then you got to look at the Namban trade merchants in your major cities to find out what these areas are low on so you can bring what you need in order to get the maximum amount of benefit if you don't bring the right amount of stuff you're not going to get very much stuff um, I probably would have been better off taking that little bit of whiskey I left somewhere else but I didn't feel like traveling to another location um, but now I have all of them unlocked. Now I can go to the Namban merchant, find out what it is that they're going to need, and bring it. Or if you're lazy like me and you don't feel like doing all that extra work, you just go get spices. Spices always sell for well, and they always, always, always will boost your skills. And right now my spice trading skill is 6 plus 3, and that's something I'm working on. So the more I buy, the better that's going to get. So let's make sure my aids are all in the right locations. Yep, we got spice trading up there. And the other one is foods. And cat reading to help prevent that from happening. So yeah, we're on the right track. But it's, you know, the Amban is one of those things in which that if you're not prepared for it, you will fail at it. Um, what I will do in my next coming episodes is I will probably, I've never edited videos, but I might do an edit video. That's what I'll probably end up doing. An edited video of where I show you the full Namban trip by doing my research, finding out what I want to get, showing you where I got it from, how I got it, buying it, traveling, which I won't show you very much of the traveling part, and then reaching the location and picking the right item to bring back with you. 
that's also enough tough thing because even though you might bring them what you want what they want like let's say you brought a, the festival area whiskey they love alcohol that's great you might get alcohol to them and then you got to know what you need to bring back for your region sometimes when you're in your cities they'll say like oh uh chinese goods are in high demand here that's great and even furthermore if you can capitalize on it if you can bring back Chinese goods and you can bring back a Chinese firearm or Japanese firearm then you're really rolling in the dough stuff that I've never really tried to do because it takes some investment and some time but maybe there's an episode in there one day where I show you a start to finish Nan Van trip where I really show you from start to finish how to invest your time and effort into making a profitable run and it's possible that I might say I do a profitable run and I still fail and it require lot, lots of recording meshing of, 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 of recordings together um, into one recording so I'm gonna have to do some video editing mm, do I even have video a video editing software on this computer mm, that might be a tough one does YouTube let you do video editing all stuff I have to figure out I am such a noob when it comes to video editing I really don't do much I used to do a lot more when I was younger but this Windows Movie Maker was like the king I did so many dumb videos on Windows Movie Maker but I'm really thinking about doing another man band like you see how man band can get addicting so long as you invest the right amount of time and money into it I mean it took me two days to sail here so I mean two days of my lifetime which is like three hours total of lifetime because that's about all the time I have together to, to do this sort of, sort of game but you know I think it's doable I think it's something that we can do in the future as a, uh, on this channel um, and then please leave comments below in this episode tell me what you want to see me do in the future episodes as well someone should so they want me to show them handicrafts so they're talking about a trade skill where they do um, so what's handicrafts where are you what is handicrafts that's something I don't even know or adventure uh, I honestly have no idea is that sewing I don't know is that handicrafts casting wares metal trading textile training spice training handicrafts ah there we go so crafts trading art trading handicrafts this might be a a pillar uh, that a lot of people don't do so somebody's interested in doing that um, I've never done well I've done this before but I've never done I've done casting before so I've done I've done mineral wares casting and metal trading before um, I'll check to see if my episodes do cover this at all with my other character Chuck Thunder if not I will show you this and I will show you handicrafts once I've learned how to do that those are two episodes I do plan on doing in the future I believe I've shown some sewing uh, before as well with Gonzo Rivera. I think Gonzo Rivera was doing sewing. Or was he doing cooking? I honestly don't remember. But that's something I will be showing in the future. So like I said, if you could, just show me some support. Hitting that, uh, hitting that like button, sharing, spreading the news, always subscribing and checking out the videos and leaving me comments so I know where to go next. This channel wouldn't be the way it is without you guys. You guys have been great. And I appreciate all the support. Take care, guys. Bye.